Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? We're gonna be jumping into Chainsaw Man, episode number 10. We're gonna be jumping in into this kind of slower episode. From what I can tell, judging from what from what for Neverworld uploaded and what I've seen on Twitter, people are kind of unhappy with this episode. Like, I didn't watch anything, I just saw the title or like the thumbnail or whichever way you want to go about it, right? So, but this makes sense. Because I don't think this is meant to be, like, just one season and done. Judging from the manga. The manga's 100 and... What? 15, 16 episodes or chapters long at, as of right now. And it's still ongoing, I believe. I think so, anyway. But still. So, with that in mind, the anime... Or, or like, the studio isn't thinking about the short term. The studio's thinking about what about season 2 and 3 and 4 and so on and such forth. Until they catch back up. And I think that's the best way to go about it. Yes, putting a training episode into, into number 10 can be seen as like a bad move or whichever way you want to go about it. But at the same time, like they just got destroyed. They just got absolutely wrecked. They do need to get stronger. Because then you could also say the opposite. Like if they just suddenly are able to get much, much, much stronger without any training whatsoever, then it's an ass pull, it's plot armor, it's whatever it is. No matter which way they go about it, it's going to get some negativity regardless and i would much prefer them to try to get stronger now before the very last episode like at least then they've got a couple of episodes they can even time skip it a little bit for when they get a bit stronger so we have um denji and power who are both training um with the drunken um special ops leader or like the division one leader or whichever way like one of the best demon hunters they have basically and he's just training them up, basically killing them over and over and over again like 20 times in a single session and so on and such forth and putting them through hell like denji's easy ride is basically gone at this point he's really got no chance to have a happy life until he can beat this dude once again until he can get past everything until he can actually win and by that point, he'll be much, much stronger than he is now. To see how easily he got destroyed by that one demon with the machetes. Imagine what even stronger demons can do. Even imagine what the gun devil can do. Like this is just the, the lackeys. Never mind the actual the actual gun devil himself. What about the the promise that Makima made him that he could have anything he wanted if he managed to kill the gun the gun devil in the process of it all. And of course, they have no choice. Man, both power and she are half human, half demon at this point. Or and they just have no real choice in the matter. They have to do it because that will just get hunted down and killed otherwise. So it's all coming into one big thing. But what is the one big thing? What is the last episode going to entail, man? I have my theories of what it's going to do. Like Aki is making a contract with a new demon. He's only got two years left. He read some letters um, from um, the lady who died from Himeno, who died or I don't know if she's truly dead. She might be truly dead. She might have just been spirited away because her body parts just disappeared. So I don't know if that counts as true death, but I'm assuming it does in this world. It's hard to know. But still. So yeah, they're all suffering. They're all going through hell, basically. They're all trying to power up and train in their own ways, which I prefer. I'd prefer it not to be an asshole, to not be plot armor, to not be something like that. I'd prefer them to have to work towards it. Like in One Piece, where you go from um, Luffy... L from like Luffy and the uh, Straw Hat to like losing against um, C losing against CP9 to absolutely just obliterating everything else and against like some of the warlords and now Luffy's going up against Kaido of all people and like all kinds of craziness like like that two year time skip was enough for him to train with Rayleigh and all of that stuff and that's kind of what you needed with this you need that kind of break to kind of have that training otherwise if you keep ass pulling transformation after transformation after transformation it becomes boring, it becomes something like what Dragon Ball Super turned into, where they just go from like red to blue um, into silver for Ultra Instinct and you know what I mean, it's just like ass pull after ass pull after ass pull and it's not very interesting to watch. What makes this interesting is the way that they're doing it, that it's not going to be easy, that it is more realistic of what you could expect to happen and yes, they're going to have to sacrifice a lot. Ark is probably not going to have very long left to live once this is done. And Denji and Power may not even make it. But at the same time, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't even know what the gun devil is like. Who or what he is. What he could be. Or anything to that degree. So it's hard to know at the end of the day. In my opinion anyway. But still. So what do I think for the end of the series? Or let's go for, long, let's go for even further in the manga. What do I think so? 
I think Makima's not going to be what she seems. I think the people who are dying are going to be, like, reused in a different way. I don't know why, but it's a feeling I have. I have a feeling it's some massive test. Because why would the gun devil be after Denji's heart, of all things? Why would he be after it, whereas Makima can just take it? And if they imprison devils who grant gifts and powers and that type of stuff. Like, yes, Denji's not the greatest with his, with his powers to shit. But when he is, when he's truly, truly powerful enough, when he's strong enough. He's basically immortal, like we found out this episode. He got killed 20 times and just came up to life each time with a little bit of blood. Or a little bit of time to rest up and heal. But yeah. Like, I don't think it's possible, really, to kill Denji unless you absolutely obliterate him. But even then, I'm highly, I'm highly doubting it. Like, we saw him get ripped in half in this episode. He was fine, so... I'm pretty sure. This is like a Deadpool man moment where it's just like Denji's impossible to kill. And... That's going to be valuable to all the demons, to all the humans who want to empower themselves, and to lots of other people, too. So, Makima's probably going to backstab in some kind of way, I'm assuming. Power, I don't know. But the gun devil... Might be not who we think it is, or might be not what it seems, but that's just my own personal opinion, man, but still. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Yes, it was slow, but it was interesting, and I enjoyed it, actually. Like, I'm viewing this as a long-term investment, rather than a short-term. Rather than, I'm looking towards Season 2 and 3 and 4, rather than the end of Season 1. This is just the, the pilot. This is just the, to see if people like it before we get into the main, like main part of the story the main meat and potatoes or whichever way you want to go about it man but still hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening or whatever or whatever you happen to be in the world take it easy everybody have a wonderful 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 day.